Well, today is going to be a great video because it's pretty much just going to be all praise for these two beautiful coins the U.S. Mint used to put out. And for both being silver dollars, they both have shocking facts the other one doesn't have and also some similarities. So which one's your favorite? Let's get to the video. What's going on guys? I'm Stateside. Welcome to my channel. And don't worry, I'm not trying to get you to like and subscribe. But if you have an unhealthy addiction to gold, silver, and numismatics as much as I do, then I promise you're in the right place. And as viewers, you don't get the recognition that you deserve. So I want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. Helps me out tremendously. With all that being said, let's roll it. The U.S. Mint used to make some of the most beautiful coins in the world, two of which I have before you right now, both which are 90% silver. Your Morgan dollars on the left side, named after the designer George T. Morgan. On the obverse right here, we have his design of Lady Liberty on her crown or band right there. You can see it says Liberty. And then on the reverse, we have a wings of an outstretched eagle. Just a truly classic, beautiful um, design. And on the right, we have the Peace Dollar designed by, I'm going to slaughter this name, Anthony Danfriskiski. Oh, I either just crushed that or embarrassed myself on YouTube. But this is his design of Lady Liberty. And then on the reverse, we have the closed winged eagle right here. Also another classic, this is one of my favorite eagle designs right here that the US has done on any coin. Um, and what I love about these the most is that for two coins over a hundred years old, which are filled with history, been passed between so many people, um, you can get them for $40 in great condition. Uh, now these will be common dates, meaning they aren't terribly rare, but to be able to get into the numismatic game for $40 isn't bad at all. Um, your Morgan dollars are your older of the two and were minted between 1878 to 1921 and it's one of the only coins that's been made by every mint including two that are no longer active uh, one of those is the new orleans mint that's where you will see the o mint mark and then the famous and expensive carson city mint you'll see the cc up there at the 1883 and if you're ever looking for the mint mark it's just right there below the um, below the eagle, above the D and the O right there. So those can be um, quite expensive. And then the other active mints that used to make these are the Denver Mint, the San Francisco Mint, and the Philadelphia Mint. Now, if your coin does not have a mint mark, that means that they were minted in Philadelphia. The only time Philadelphia has put a mint mark on a coin, I believe, was the War Nickels. If I'm mistaken, uh, please let me know. But Morgan dollars are perfect for both collectors and stackers because these coins, like I said, can be starting at $40 easily in great condition for your stackers all the way up to millions of dollars for your collectors. For example, in uh, 1893 S sold at auction for over two million dollars in 2021. That's only a couple of years ago, and it sold for I think it was like 2.1 million dollars. So the Morgan has price ranges for everybody, and they're just flooded um, with key dates or key mints, you know, like the S uh, mint, I just talked about the 1893 at San Francisco, it's a very common uh, mint, but mixed with that date, it's obviously very, very rare. Uh, now I said I had an interesting fact about the Morgans, and that is this, I said that they were minted from 1878 to 1921, but in fact, they stopped 
in 1904. And then they picked up production for um, one more year in 1921, where they almost minted more in that year than every other year combined. That's why your 1921 Morrigans are, uh, they're less expensive and also in the best condition. I think I put it right here. So your 1921 Morgans, as you can see, it's got that cartwheel effect right there. Very shiny, very detailed. And I mean, I think I got this for 35 bucks or something like that, like a year ago. So, and that's uh, over a hundred years old. So to be able to buy that is, to me, that's incredible. Um, then you have these beauties right here, off to your right, the Peace Dollars. Personally, like I said earlier, I prefer the eagle on the peace dollar. You can see the two right there. They're both just amazing looking. It just looks like it's more composed, like it's just on the lookout. And if you have a really nice peace dollar, you can see the incredible um, detail that it has. And your peace dollars were minted for a much shorter period of time from 1921 to 1935. And although overall less expensive, and I think they really only have three key dates um, than the Morgan dollar, it does have one thing the Morgan doesn't have, and that is a high relief coin. So in 1921, the high relief peace dollar came out that's the first year of issue it is highly sought after and very expensive like i said it was made the first year of production in 1921 so if you ever find one of these in the wild congratulations because even one in poor condition um, is worth hundreds of dollars so it still has the same front and back as you can see it's just that it's uh, it's raised. That's what a high relief coin is. So these are these are very very pricey uh, coins. Now here's what's interesting. When you talk to most people, they will say only 1921 had high reliefs. When in fact in 1922, 35,401 high relief dollars were made. Now, records from the Mint say most of these were destroyed, but there were some that made it out. These were also proof coins. They were proof high reliefs. So finding one in poor condition is worth, well, tens of thousands of dollars. Um, they say one in better condition can go for a quarter of a million dollars. So keep your eyes out for a 1922 high relief. It could be, uh, well, it could be part of your retirement right there. And I would like a little cut of that for letting you know if you find it after this video. So, and just so you guys know, in recent years, the U.S. Mint has brought these designs back in pure silver form. You know, they will bring them back out in the Morgans and the Peace Dollars right there. As far as I can tell, they are the original designs and aren't altered maybe a little bit more crisp, but that's about it. But these are going to cost you, they're pretty expensive. I only have one and view them more as um, like an investment piece right there, something just to pass down and sell. I always think owning one of something is cool, but I will forever love the original 90% uh, coins more than the ones that they are putting out right now. So I also like to put some in capsules for the later years, just to, just to preserve them. You know, that's just me. If they fit in a capsule, I usually do, uh, do when they're in my collection. So that's all I have for this video, guys. Let me know your favorite in the comments. Do you like the Morgans? Do you like the Peace Dollars? Like always, I hope you got something from this video and I will see you in the next.